What are you doing out here? It is freezing as hell. Well, at least while you're there, can you please like and subscribe? And uh, please enjoy the video. I gotta get back inside. All right, so this movie is called Open Range. It came out in 2003, believe it or not. And uh, believe it or not, I have not seen it yet. Um, it is one of two films that, uh, westerns that I'm doing that I have not seen. Um, it is a obviously a 1800s western compared to, let's say, 70s or 60s or, you know, modern day westerns. Um, I'm more towards a fan of the uh, 1800 westerns and, you know, that type of thing. I do definitely do love the audience of it. That's why I got joy out of it. it is uh, other than the history part of it, is the whole you hear the walking, creaking, and the creaking of the doors when they open them type of thing. Um, I don't know if that's all movie magic or what. I know it's definitely enhanced audio with with, with the audio they had. Um, it, the quality of it though is it's 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 something you expect for a 2003 movie that is you know high budget. It, it came off kind of like what you would get in the 90s. Uh, like really high budget, like Scorsese or something, or even the eighties. Um, but it was, it was, it's not something you expect the quality to be so clear today, obviously, because we haven't gotten there at two thousand three yet. Um, but it's definitely really good quality for, for what it was. The cutscene, not cutscenes, but the cutting of the the show, the movie, was a bit drawn out. Uh, each one. It was stretched out. There were. I wasn't really also feeling the the when they go from one scene to the other. They kind of do this blurring uh, thing to it. Uh, not like actual blurring, but it's like they. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, but they they kind of morph into the other one, the other scene. So I wasn't really feeling that. And the whole back to the how they did the drawn out on each part of the story because this is two hours long by the way and they definitely tried way too much to stretch out a whole bunch of the story of mostly the lead up to about the 30 minutes end scene of uh, um of them fighting which was well it's pretty, pretty cool uh the 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 sounds of them were pretty dramatic i'm pretty sure that's just my surround system or speaker whatever the hell you want to call it um but what the I want to tell you what the plot of this is. Okay, it's pretty simple. It's four ranchers are are feed free feed ranchers. Which if you don't know what that is, it's still it's a, I guess it's still controversial today, from my understanding. But back then, it was seen as bad as as the Indians um, for some freaking reason. Eighteen hundreds would do um, racist stuff. Um, But what it, they they take their cattle from one place to another and they graze on on these open lands. Now these open lands are shared with other cattle members who actually live in these areas, and so they're definitely not happy about it. Uh, so a, they they come across a town and they send a a thirty some year old guy there for I, I forgot what reason. Imagine for supplies and stuff. Uh, but he doesn't come back for about a good three to four days. So they start getting word. So Duvall and uh, Cosner go into this town and find him. They find out he's been arrested. And um, there was some dirtiness a play between the law and the, the, I mean, the sheriff and the marshal. And the marshal is also the head of uh, the town. This little town. And they do definitely are pretty dirty. Um, so they they pretty much find out who this guy is, and then they beat him and put him in there. So the the two um, actors in here that play the ranchers are not a fan of it. And uh, so they go back, and then they end up uh, getting attacked while they're gone. And this one boy that's a 16 year old gets a he gets hit in the head pretty damn hard after he's been shot. And so they have to write, take him back to this, to the town, to the doctor. And, um, you know, 
have him healed. But in, in, as this is happening, they're at revenge of going after these people that own the town who are clearly are, and they made it clear that they they see they actually want their cattle, and so they went to kill them to get their cattle. Uh, and you get the whole uh, cowboy look, but they got the whole uh, what you had back then was disguise their faces when they robbed banks. They had a, a, a poorly made cut uh, bag over their faces. It kind of looked like something that uh, when you think of the the KKK back then or at the end of the civil after the civil war in the eight, late eighteen hundreds, I remember I seen movies in. They would have that on there. But obviously it's not associated specifically with that. But I'm sure they took that in their heart when creating the, you know, the the clerks. But whatever. That's off topic. But so you get this whole thing of uh, of um, the staying in the town and causing problems and stuff. You know, it's not like causing problems like there was a whole bunch of action. There's a lot of more of talking crap to each other. There was this one scene that actually took me off guard. Where he had this double barrel shotgun, he fired it off at the sign that was discriminating against people that they just happened to put up as soon as they came into town that are feed um, free freed ranchers. Sure wasn't one of my f top 10 favorite westerns. Um, I thought it was enjoyable for a good amount, but I definitely did feel like it was stretched out quite a bit. Again, wasn't a horrible movie. It was still enjoyable. It was good for what it was. Uh, you know, I would give this four out of five axes. Um, I think it d definitely deserves at least a four. Uh, it was definitely well done, made, and well, other than the stretched out parts. But I, I definitely I enjoyed it. I, I thought it was enjoyable. I wouldn't watch it again. Maybe in the future, maybe 10 years from now, I will watch it again. I don't know. Um, but uh, if you've seen this movie, let me know in the comments below. Um, I, I'm not really 100% sure. That thinking that a lot of uh, kids born in the late 90s and 2000s have saw this that are, are watching my videos. But then I don't know the whole... Uh, full range of uh, my uh, um, my viewers, so uh, YouTube's kind of iffy. Um, but yeah, I mean that's my long review. I think it's long. Um, but anyways, I love you all and uh, happy holidays and skull.